So I'm going to talk about th this um, series of Supernatural Academy, where uh, the first episode is Parallel Lives. I'll be talking about part one. There'll be spoiler warnings, and I'll be talking about criticism and things I think there's misopportunities, and I'd like to improve the story way more than what they have right now. I'll be just spewing it out to like this fact. The first thing really to notice is actually over here where, um, let me see. So we'll be talking about this first scene, which was great. I loved it. Um, about the lady over here with the one of the two main characters, Jessa. Uh, the other main character is Ms. Uh, Mishida, or I think that's how you say it. I always fail saying that. Anyways, that was good because it showed that um, she was, Jessa was late. It shows her attitude about the headroom head headmaster, which is basically dog shit. Um, but uh, that's basically it there, right? But Jessa also acts like a decent human being, um, kind of, not really, but it was like, oh, I see, it's like, it's just like a school environment, teaching that um, Jessa is a rebellious kid was good, oh no, the problem we're having is later on, we don't see that after that, we don't see uh, actual um, verbal, um, not verbal, sorry, uh, show not tell situation uh the next situation was uh her jessa and her best friend talking about how much trouble she always is in and how he gets away, she gets away with everything which to be fair missing half a school is um doom breaking for a kid but for adult uh for adult no that's not doom breaking i would say something like blowing up a whole school cafeteria now that is a mess up there so what I mean by that is over here with the characters, I would love it if um, there was like a food fight or something and then they were the one to be responsible with it and they didn't get in trouble because of, no, Jesse didn't get in trouble, but everyone else did or something like that. Um, to be clear, um, the better uh, way to ask this is if these two were fighting actually. We heard a verbal discussion, verbal fight, and um, we have later on the how she always gets in trouble the, how she like doesn't get no when jessa gets and do something horrible she doesn't get in trouble and she thinks that uh, her father loves her more the problem i'm having with this is that there's no visual proof for it it's all word so if the first um episode has something to do with her fighting with him like jessa and the, the headmaster's daughter fought and they um were fighting and only one of them gets majorly in trouble while the other one does not it would make sense to reason that um a headmaster has favorites or something like that over the dragon mark um by the way dragon mark is um things that jessa and mishida has which is super weird then you don't need to know too much about oh i don't think i explained too much about the writer um so it was based on the book and it's one of the writers, Skilton, a uh, horror fan of the cartoon version of the book version is Jamin Eve that wrote it. But I'm not talking too much about Jamin uh, Eve because it doesn't seem, if I'm not correct, that it based really uh, hardcore on the book version. In my opinion, it does not. Um, to so just, uh, I don't think it does a lot. Um, yeah, as I can see from the book version, there was a lot of things. I mean, technically speaking, um, there were wolf shelters, but it's not really that intense with that thematic um, decision. The next important part is the wolf thing, um, is the door. And I'm completely fine with it. It's good. It's honestly good. And this is not a criticism. The other part, the last part was a criticism, a hardcore criticism, because I feel like there should have been, that's a missed opportunity right there. The Before we talk about um, the food fight. The, oh, by the way, the actual version did not have any food fight or did not have any conflict. It was all verbal, um, like this track. It was basically this track. It wasn't actually anything verbal, uh, you know, you know, show. There's no show. Over here was good. It showed the connection to Jessa and uh, Mishida, but the problem is um, we get nothing out of it. Um, we know that uh, Mishida is a good artist, but that's all. And I don't see the point of it. The only thing I see a point of is that now you brought a new audience, like a niche audience that, ooh, she likes art, great. I love art too, I do paintings and blah, blah, blah. Now I'm supposed to like her now because of that. Um, no. <laughs> I like her for other reasons, but and they're good reasons. Um, but I gotta admit that was a little uh, cheap on their, their man. 
um, because I was so hoping for there's some kind of magic with it or something like that. But there wasn't. There was nothing. Absolutely zero taunting magic or whatever shenanigans I was hoping for in my head. And I hope, like, after four year, four, four, ten years or whatever this high school or college lasts for, I hope there's an after. I want the after. I want them to become actual politicians or something, but uh, that's for later times. Anyways, that's what I thought about that sketch. Oh, wait, one last thing over here. The Dragon Mark. I'm really questioning this right now because Dragon Mark is so ingrained that Jessa should have already known what that symbol was because everyone's scared of it because of the Dragon King. Um, so my question is, why was Jessa not aware of this? Um, it could have been far, but that doesn't make sense. School literally teaches you this later on, and it doesn't make sense why the Dragon Mark is, you know, um, not prev. Um, she doesn't know it. It doesn't make sense. As a kindergartner, I, should, I mean, is there, is there no kindergartner or something uh, that teaches you about the horrible tale about the Dragon King or something? I don't know. That's one question, especially when this girl over here had her little brother taken because she was Dragon King. A symbol on her, uh, on him, sorry, on the little brother, which is really questionable after that. And I think, huh, that's questionable. Next thing I want to do is a good idea to put the fairy. I love the idea that she put the fairy in. That was good. Also, I don't get the point of these two people. I think they should have got something uh, other than just a visual, honestly. But I mean, there was something, I believe, but there was nothing. Oh, yeah. This guy over here, um, there's some problems with him. Um, I don't. I like I like him. He's a dragon, um, but I, I, there was not really a big role on him. His part. Anyway, it was a good idea to put a fairy in right off the bat. It literally uh st the signalized that there was a fairy in the human realm, which is good, and we get different characters. That's good. The problem I'm having none of them. None. No problem. That's actually a really good compliment, I guess. Uh, the problem I'm having is that she doesn't have that much of a role yet, but that's fixed later on, so I'm fine with it. Over here, I'm questioning how um, Mishida turns to wolf form. I think, I guess I think she's a wolf form, because later on, Jessica checks the wolf paws, and it seems like it was hers, the same thing, so blah, 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 blah. Um, you'll see it if you look through the whole um, season one. But what I'm having problem believing is that how is she able to use magic when it was it's really told that she has no magic to give? It doesn't add up. I don't get it. And uh the dark uh I chose this dark scene. Um because it shows the state that she is in compared to like um uh these people in here which is great. Um I love the food scene too like how um the contrast between the little food she has and the Omega Oplex, the sisters, like different um, nurture versus nature, which I thought would have been more prevalent. But it turns out, no, no, they're both um, pretty similar uh, people in their core heart, which is, um, I guess, nature wins on that part. That was weird. Maybe the connection made them nature. I don't know. Uh, another missed opportunity that I'm going to really grind my heels on uh, is about the Dragon King and the introduction. Uh, we got introduced by the villain. <laughs> Basically, one of the few villains that we have. And I don't like the this villain because it's not obvious that she was a villain, nor was it really prevalent that I think, I, in my head, I kind of imagined the writers just mismatching and saying, oh, this would be a good villain or something like that. It didn't make sense in my head at all that she was a villain. The problem I'm having over here is that this could have been done before. Like, just... But Jessa, this should be common knowledge. As I said many times, I think I said it many times, she'd been living in the fairy world for like 12 years and not to know this, like the symbol over here and question, what is that? It just, just doesn't make any sense to me. He should have known that. And I think to um, elevate this or relieve this of this problem was just basically the beginning, tell the tale of this land and like a normal story, just go after it. No, but they didn't do it. I'm fine with it. It was actually not bad. It was decent enough. I'm just saying it could have been better. That's a missed opportunity. And I guess it's a criticism slash okay with. Anyway, more drawing, more drawing. It was like kind of furious about this um, scene where I, because I know now that in the future episode that this means nothing. Um, but currently this, I thought it meant a lot more and I was furious right now because it does not mean zero squat. Uh, 
uh, that's mainly because I like art, but you know, just saying, if you're gonna put something, maybe in this to check out for the first episode and leave it out, maybe that should have been more um oomph to it, but it doesn't really matter actually. So, time to think about it. The biggest problem is this part over here the conversation that these three had, you know, Jessa and this person is best friends, and this is the best friend's mother, was unnatural as heck. What I mean by that, Jessica and this er, and her best friend's mother was talking about um Jessica's own mother and how I will never have the experience this, uh, and God damn it, you've been li you knew this for you knew her you knew her for a very long time and tell me just now, this, that you don't you just now tell, oh my God, it just didn't make sense. Her mother should have known about this from the start, and just as should have never said it because we have this discussion already. Probably, I would I would hope that we had a discussion like this before from his best friend's mother. It makes no sense to her have it now. I don't get it. That was a weird shenanigan moment there that could have been retrofitted later. Her, the next one is her mother getting tired. I don't understand, is it because it's a silver paint, or is it because he does like a, that a late job and fights assassin? Because her magic, I was assuming, was gone, but it turned, I'm not sure anymore, because if her silver paint affects her, it means the magic is in her, because uh, as you know, with uh, Mishida, once she got her magic, um, Everything was duty for her, and everything everything that silver hurt her. Next, about her, you, as you can see, she, I chose this one because she, that, this is the most menacing uh, scene I found with her, because she's a villain. But the problem I'm having is she doesn't act like a villain. She, there's no hints on it uh, until later on. But, but, but by then, she's such an important tagless character, and such a um, safe person, I don't, I mean, her twin sister is never even mentioned, and I don't even know her twin sister, it's like, that's like a one-shot villain that I never even knew about, I was fine with the twin uh, sister, but I, I was hoping that she would talk about it at least, and just mention her name or something, I don't know, it just didn't make sense to me. Next problem I have, uh, this was also a continuation, Brownie, seriously, why, are, I mean, this felt like a filler scene, it felt like uh, the writer was just shoving things in just for time's sake, which is never good. And over here, um, I mean, I, I, I get it, there's the reason that she came, because of the muffins, but uh, I didn't like it. Her, the biggest problem I'm having, Machina's mother have been running from the entire world for, I think, 12 years or something, I don't remember. But as long as Machina can remember, she moved 12 times or something. And just because of one assassin, she won't move again and instead endangers everyone by going to the magical world and telling them, Oh, you have a twin sister, and now you're going to have to live in the magical world. And uh, the one world that you... You mom the, that her mom and that purposely split you apart because of Dragon Ball. If they were together, he shows too much, and he'll be in the uh, cluster, and no, one, uh, and I don't want that. It's uh, she doesn't want that. And this, <sighs> it just doesn't not add up. Why? Um, I would get it if there was like more than one assassin. Though the assassin almost killed the mother, uh, because um, because the mother. If she can't protect her, and if the people found out, like the uh, headmaster, then she's pretty much captured and used as a ritual to summon the new Dragon King. I understand that. But, word heck, she, the, the mother doesn't even get hurt. She doesn't, I don't feel danger from her. And I don't understand why the mother's running away. You could just go and make a new, um, new, um, identity for yourself like you do 12 different times apparently and i don't understand this new uh, conversation we're having is why is he going to the magical world if he doesn't need to and the one place that you're supposed to separate them for so long that was just a smite mishap over here i like this scene i love this scene that was so funny where she dropped um this food because of a growl i laughed i laughed a little on that one that was really good um i don't know why that makes um that's just funny 
<laughs> the next problem, why are they just humans? This fight against the new the Dragon King is supposed to have shifters, vampires, and other magicians, and we only see humans? Where are the fairies? Where are they? Are you kidding me? In the world of this, I'm, 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 I'm going to give them some drawback and say this is like, oh, this is a magical book and this was written by humans, kind of. So I will give them the benefit of that. But come on, there's green-haired people. There's um, green face, I mean. Um, there is mermaids. And to fight the Dragon King, you're using spears. I'm going to chalk that up to like, um, it's just a children's book that you know is a is a cartoon, and the in the cartoon is um written as a it's a children's book that little kids read to figure this out. Then, but then I have a problem with this. Is teach is taught in a lecture, so I had to say I have to say what the heck is wrong? There should be shifted. There should be other stuff, and I'm saying. All right, and, and those are my thought process. That's what I thought of, and I, that didn't make any sense to me. So I let I did let it go. I said, okay, this is a big problem. We can fix. I mean, they should have just put different. Like, well, put a wolf there, put a um vampire there, and everything would be fixed. And then put a elf there, and that would be perfect enough and good enough to symbolize that. But they didn't. Whatever. I like this part, the desolate sand because of the Dragon King. And I'm going to say this right now. The problem I'm having with this part over here, um, the Dragon King, the end is not strong. It got defeated by two little twins. I'm saying the Dragon King is not the reason that the um, fairy world was destroyed, and which was a good mystery. Um, <laughs> Well, good, good enough mystery for me. Um, this dragon world cannot be destroyed by a freaking dragon king because it got defeated by a glass sword. Um, what should have happened if the dragon king was this powerful? And um, I was expecting an epic battle where they lose arms, and the only way, the only reason they defeat it is because the uh, they learn they learn ma they learn enough magic like bomb magic that uh, subload things and maybe they cut off their they you they let the dragon eat their hand and then that hand blows them blows the heart up or something when they digest that's what that was what's going in my head when I was thinking about the epic scene in the finale but we got just a weak ass sword that defeated it with a magnificent style and I'm saying okay you hyped this guy to destroy entire realms. And you're saying these two twins destroyed it? <sighs> I was super disappointed. And the only thing I can think of then was the ancient curse, which um was good. I gotta admit, I love the I love the riddle. I love the poetry of that, but it does not showcase the the reason why the realm was destroyed. I think it's dark magic. Has to be. Oh yeah, the next part over here, this was just awkward. Oh man, I just had to say, having a discussion with your own brother about your love interest, uh, that was super awkward. I did not like that. But at the same time, it was kind of necessary, I guess, to move on. I mean, it wasn't necessary, it was just weird. She's not against her foot. I don't like, I don't like it, but I don't like the love, 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 um, triangle so i think this was a good um uh, to separate them both um the problem i'm having later on is that this are they going to marry each other and marry you know uh, the, their prospective partners which i'm not for because you know, they don't look like good um romantic um i mean they haven't showed enough to say that their romance is big enough for this so i'm just gonna leave it as that <sighs> next is the final part which i love the Actual door, good. Actual suspense, the back layer, good. It was it was okay. It's suspense, I guess. Uh, the problem I'm having is that this is um, I mean I'm okay with everything. It showcased the future, but I don't understand why the headmaster is doing it in such a random place. You you know that there is um, other places to you know you take him. You know, kind of questionable because I don't know the reason to that. Um, may, I mean, where the magic's coming from, I understand the students. They're taking a lot more magic from the students to uh, use her power. But yeah, I don't get it too much. It's fine. It's good enough. And the dark trees over here was good. But the, I think they should put a dark tree over here. They should make everything here dark, making it like a 
dark effect, making her him look more evil, but that's fine. Um, it was enough darkness to perceive her, him as evil, and um, that's good enough. And in the end, I think four out of five stars is good. Um, because of introduction, you can't screw up an introduction uh, very much. It's just like, oh, even if uh, uh, introduction was basically um, uh, shoehorn, you can't really screw it up that often. So it's four out of five in my opinion. I mean, you could have done better, but it was good enough for me to get the message across. So yeah, so that's my opinion on this um, whole story. It's okay, it's good enough. It's good enough for introduction. The problem I'm having is the resolution and the final episode, which I'm okay with if this whole entire season is just an introduction to feature um, length things, and I'm okay with that now. So that's my inter- in, um, criticism slash um, things that uh, could have been better if they done it right, and things that I don't get, weird things like uh, this part. And things are funny. That's like praise, I guess. And this part didn't make any sense either. And this part, why they left makes no sense. So this part, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about this. This part where they meet the sister, say, "Oh my god, how is this believable?" I mean, this introduction is so awkward. I'm fine with it being awkward, but and I and I don't understand. I think there was like a text message that made it possible, but I don't know. It's so awkward. It's just super awkward. I don't get it. It was okay, but I don't even understand. What, I mean, how did they? How did she contact them to become here? I mean, it could be in phone call, but it was said later on that the phone messages don't work in this realm. So you know, weird. In this place, I mean, sorry. Uh, and other than that, um, yeah, they could talk about everything here. Yeah, I'm done. I guess. Four out of five because it's an introduction. You can't screw up introduction very often unless you do something really, really bad.